G'day and welcome to the channel. Today I'm at a local lake and I'm going to be doing a super budget gear challenge. Let's get into it. Alright, so what's the super budget challenge all about? Well, it's about me challenging myself to use really affordable gear to get good shots. Not everybody can afford an R5 and a 500mm lens. Lots of people just starting out don't want to spend a lot of money, but they still want to photograph birds. So today I'm going to be using a very affordable lens. Which lens? Well, I've got my hands on the Sigma 150-600 to Contemporary. This is probably the most affordable zoom lens on the market, or telephoto lens. It goes out to 600, which makes it very attractive for a lot of people. And I'm just curious to see what sort of shots we can get with this lens. I've never really used this lens before, so I'm excited to see how it performs. So what camera am I going to use with this lens? Well, it's going to be the very first DSLR I ever purchased, and that is the 40D. I got this over 10 years ago, it's 10 megapixels, and it's probably worth, I don't know, 40 or $50 second hand. So a very old DSLR on an affordable telephoto zoom. Together, you can probably pick these up for 700 um, US used, or this here, I think it's even under 1,000 brand new. So we're talking about under $1,000. What sort of shots can we get? Well, I'm at a lake. I'm confident that I'm going to be able to get some good shots just by using some technique. You might have seen a few of my videos where I talk about how to take photos. Well, I'm going to employ that today just to see what sort of shots we can get. And I'm excited to try it out. So I will be using a uh, ground pod. There will be a link in the description. It's called a skimmer ground pod. Um, and I'll be using my gimbal on top of that so I can get down nice and low. And I'll be mounting the lens on this gimbal. So uh, let's do that now. There's a plate on this lens, an Arca Swiss plate, so that it will actually go onto this gimbal. So I just lock it into place there and then just lock it in like so and just need to put the camera on. So the grebe that I shot a few weeks ago is still here so it can't be far off getting off the nest. Now as I mentioned previously, this, I'm not disturbing the bird, it's right next to the lake, people are walking around all the time. So what I need to do is I actually need to get down low, so I need to crawl down this embankment here, sort of onto the mud and I want to be on the water's edge. All right, so I'm getting nice and low. Now I can see the groups here. So let's have a look. Oh, there's actually, oh, there's actually chicks here. There's actually a baby. There's actually a baby on the back of the grebe. This is amazing. Oh, there's, there's two babies. So pretty amazing. The grebe is here on the nest and it's got two young birds, very small and she's still feeding them, so um, hopefully we should get some feeding shots. All right, so I'm actually having quite a lot of fun here. Um, this is a perfect spot to try out this lens and this camera because this uh, grebe's sort of sitting on the nest and there's an adult, uh, I'm not sure if it's the male or female, it's coming in, there's three chicks that have hatched and they're sort of sticking to the mum and they're going on her back and they're getting fed. So there's a whole range of shots that I'm trying to get here. I'm trying to get some feeding action. I'm trying to get the baby on the back of the adult. It's just awesome, there's just so much going on. And again, the benefit of a crop body, of the APS-C body, is that it just gets everything closer. So you would not need any more focal length. If you're using this lens on a crop body, it's more than enough. All right, the male's coming back with the fish. So let's see if we can capture the feeding behavior. There he is.
I just made a rookie error, which I should probably share with you, is that I forgot to format the um, CF card before I started using this camera, and I don't use CF cards anymore, so I just grabbed my biggest CF card and whacked it in, and I forgot to um, format it, and I was just having a burst of shots, and it said CF card full, and <laughs> I don't want to sit here deleting them. Luckily, I've got a backup CF card, so I formatted that, chucked it in, and that's the one I'm using now. So, rookie error, always make sure you format your cards before you start, or you've got enough storage on your cards, that's for sure. <laughs> So what I might do, I've spent quite a bit of time with these grebes. I can see a couple of other birds further over, so I might go and see what else we can photograph. So we might go and do that now. So I can see a few wood ducks by the water's edge, so I'm just going to crawl my way towards them and see if I can get some shots. The males have this um, really cool mullet look at the back of their heads and they look quite hard case, so I'd like to get a few shots of them. Just also spotted some black fronted dotterels. I've photographed these birds before. You would have seen it in a few previous videos, but I'm gonna have a go today. The sun's coming down now. We're getting the last of the light. So I'm gonna crawl my way over towards the mud and uh, just lay and wait for these black fronted dotterels. That's the goal. So let's go and try and photograph these birds. Okay, so we've got a couple of um, crested pigeons on this rock. It seems to be a popular rock, so I'm just hand-holding because I need to get a little bit higher to get the uh, background a little bit nicer. If I'm down too low, I get the, the trees and things, which is not ideal. Two birds, so I'm trying to get them with eye contact, both of them at the same time. I can't actually believe what just happened. A white-faced heron flew in, I saw it flying and it landed. I saw something in its mouth and it had a little turtle in its mouth. <laughs> Pretty unbelievable. So I've tried to focus the best I can. I've got no idea whether the shots came out. The bird kind of went behind some grasses and it had a rock behind it. I think I got some shots of this turtle in its mouth, fingers crossed. And we'll just see how we go, but pretty amazing behavior to capture. Um, so fingers crossed we got that shot. Just laying here, obviously photographing the black fronted dotterels, the sun's coming down, um, a beautiful evening. Um, quite a few different birds. 40D and the Sigma are hopefully getting us some nice shots. We've had plenty of opportunities. I can't be, uh, I can't complain about the amount of opportunities I've had today, that's for sure. So we've just got to hope that the shots have turned out. All right, well, the sun's definitely gone down. My session's come to an end. What an awesome time. Took lots of photos. 
how did I find the 40D and the 150 to 600? First, the camera. <laughs> it's an oldie bit of goodie, but I guess it struggles to be honest. The nine autofocus points means you're always struggling to get the focus point on the bird and keep it locked on. It was hunting every now and again, and it was just a challenge. Look, I'm sure we got lots of sharp shots, is the main thing, but with this older gear, you just have to take lots of photos. Uh, the frames per second, very low, buffer, very short, but hey, you just have to deal with that. The lens, yeah, really impressed. You know, love having 600 millimeters with the crop body, it gives us what, 900 and 60 full frame equivalent just means that the bird's big and you don't have to get that close and obviously having the zoom range allowed us to get a few different types of shots um, I actually found I had to turn the IS off on the tripod because it was just jumping around it was trying to reset itself so I actually had when it was on my gimbal I had to shoot with the IS off and obviously I put it on when I was hand holding so that was only a minor thing I think what today demonstrated that is that even with affordable gear if you get down low you can get close to the bird and you implement those techniques that I've talked about in previous videos you can get nice shots you don't have to have the most expensive gear to enjoy bird photography and that's what it's all about I highly encourage you if you're thinking about getting involved in bird photography maybe you could pick up the Sigma 150 to 600 and an old um, crop body and just get out there and have a go and see if you like it see if you can get addicted as I am and just enjoy bird photography honestly it's one of the best forms of photography there is you get out in nature it's just you and the birds I honestly don't think anything can beat it I mean I'm a little bit biased let's be honest but overall um, bird photography is a wonderful passion of mine or hobby and I highly encourage you to um, get out there and give it a go you know do you use this lens do you use an old body like this how do you go out in the field um, I'm really interested to know so if you like this content obviously give it that thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and thanks to all my members that support the channel until the next one take care see you later